Hello everyone, I'm Dr. Tushar Mehta. I'm an orthopedic surgeon and a faculty of orthopedics for PG aspirants as well as for the postgraduate residents. Well, a very, very small video to explain a very, very important test here that is what is called as Adson's test. Well, precisely, we use it in a condition called as thoracic outlet syndrome. It's a provocative test where we try to provocate the symptoms. By the way, first of all, we have to understand what are the symptoms. See, you have to understand that in thoracic outlet syndrome, there's a compression over the subclavian vessels as well as the brachial plexus because of uh, the, the condition that we are discussing. Causes can be any and many, but uh, the clinical presentation will remain the same. That is uh, the paresthesias and uh, the you know uh, the absence of the pulse. So we'll try to provocate that symptom and we'll try to prove whether that condition is there or not because of Adson's test. So if you see the patient is made to sit down on a couch or on a table or on a stool, and then the shoulder has to be 30 degree abducted as you can see apart from that you know elbow has to be completely extended as you all can see and there has to be slight external rotation at the shoulder just a slight external rotation at the shoulder so shoulder has to be abducted 30 degree slightly externally rotated and elbow has to be completely extended and then one hand of the examiner is going to examine the radial pulse first thing first the patient is asked to take the neck into hyper extension and then rotate towards the side which is being examined so there's a hyper extension of the neck and along with that there is a ipsy lateral rotation of the neck now the patient is asked to take a deep breath and hold it and meanwhile the patient will take a deep breath and hold it the examiner will suddenly notice the disappearance of the radial pulse hair for that brief period and when the patient will exhale the pulse will reappear again and that is something which is called as adsense test so i repeat again just to brush up the steps the patient is made to sit down yes then the shoulder has to be 30 degree abducted and slightly externally rotated elbow has to be completely extended one end of the examiner is going to palpate for the radial pulse with another hand the patient will be told to hyperextend the neck followed by ipsy lateral uh, rotation and then during that episode of deep inhalation the disappearance of the radial pulse and then reappearance post exhalation is what is called as adsense test as i said provocative test for thoracic outlet syndrome will do subscribe to the youtube channel and uh, we will be presenting with more and more videos on the various important clinical tests that we use in orthopedics very soon thank you so much stay tuned